We continue our coverage now on those holiday weekend storms. Take a look at this video sent to our sister station in St. Louis KSDK. This comes from New Baden, Illinois, where strong winds took down trees and power lines. It's just one of the states where weekend storms are being surveyed, including the death here in Kentucky. At least 18 people were killed and dozens of others hurt as a result of severe weather over the weekend. ABC's Perry Russell has the latest overnight from Washington. The car is shaking. Deadly tornadoes killing at least 18 people in the south and southeast. In Texas, Governor Greg Abbott says at least seven people have been killed, including a two-year-old and five-year-old from the same family. This dog found alive in the rubble. Valley View, Texas, north of Dallas, one of the hardest hit cities. This gas station destroyed with 60 to 80 people hiding inside. The sheriff says no one was seriously hurt. The destruction is widespread. The governor signing a disaster declaration for more than a third of the state. Kennedy has been a harrowing week with lives lost, property reduced to rubble. The hopes and dreams of Texas families and small businesses have literally been crushed by storm after storm. Storm stretching from Texas to Illinois. In Oklahoma, hail the size of baseballs. In Arkansas, at least eight people killed, buildings collapsing and roofs ripped off homes. We felt it hit the house and just felt it started sucking air up through the through the walls and the windows. We tried to make it into the hallway. That's the most central part of our house. And that's when we realized we didn't have a roof. Tens of thousands of people without power. We are seeing the great humanity of our Kansans and uh, neighbors helping neighbors, even when their own homes and businesses are damaged. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.